What's happening, so fam? Antoha here. So today I'm going to be sharing another one of my very powerful uh, techniques that I use to essentially create a new reality and manifest new things all the time. One of the major things that everyone has a huge issue with is reprogramming your mind, letting go of things that uh, are self-sabotaging you, like things from your culture, things that your parents have given you, things that um, you know your friends believe in. So through peer pressure, you probably like try to give into it. A lot of people are waking up from this peer pressure and this limitation that they've been given, but many people do struggle to find this vibration of like well how do i deprogram the things that i've experienced i'm gonna have to go to deep hypnosis i'm gonna spend the next seven years trying to reprogram my mind is it even possible to reprogram my mind right so one of the things that i've really learned through this experience is i test myself every day to question what is real all right so like uh, yesterday i was sitting outside and i was like what if reality is not what i believe it to be right like what even what if even all the things that i've learned and i know a lot of things about esoterica what if that's all just partially true and it's not the full truth right and when i've put myself in that mentality and i've i've not only like put myself in that mental space but i've actually vibrated it and accepted it in my body I always, always, always have this really profound download that shows me like the schematics of other dimensions or the schematics of myself or how other people work and stuff like that. I guarantee you it always happens. The hardest part is you being able to say, what if everything is wrong? What if everything's a lie? And then you're like, you have this natural apprehension to give into that vibration because your the human condition is so solidified in thinking that matter is real that you're gonna naturally have this fear of like uh, uh i don't know if i can do this i don't know i don't know i don't know what happens if i do this i'm afraid i'm afraid if i let go of whatever it is that i think i know right so you really have to put yourself in that position of saying like you know i would rather know the truth than not know the truth whatsoever right because at least if i know the truth i have the opportunity to do something with that truth instead of perpetually lying to myself and being lied to the only people that really tend to do this type of meditation and succeed are the people that have serious authenticity with themselves they're people that don't like to be lied to they don't they're not people that accept lies as truth right so i sit down and put myself in that position where i'm like okay well what if everything i know is wrong i'm gonna embrace that what if everything I know is wrong, right? What if everything that everyone else knows is wrong about medicine, about psychology, about, you know, who I am as a person? And your questions are going to change with that that modality. Really, what you're looking for is being able to just say, like, things are not what they seem, right? And the moment you do that, you can apply that to your inner self or whatever else that you're experiencing. But once you do that, you got to go with the flow and something's always going to come through. Not everything's going to be something that you can document or share with other people. Sometimes there's just things that you need to experience and understand so that you can evolve in general. That's been one of the, literally the most powerful things for me to grow. Um, I'm trying to think of another way that, that I've applied it. But... If you're still watching, subscribe, comment, and share because sharing is caring. Sending you all my love. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's the message for today. Like challenge yourself to just go out in the day and say, what if all this is wrong? What if, you know, it's just not what it seems? Who knows what that means? Like, and sometimes you're like, if it's not what it is, what is it? And that's where you have to put yourself and trust that the cosmos is going to teach you. Like if you hit this point where you're like, I don't know where to go from here. Once you've abandoned your, your thought process, just trust that the universe is going to literally teach you what it is that you need to know to replace that information. You don't just want to abandon the information because abandoning it is going to give you the opportunity to let go of the 3d but it's not going to reprogram the 3d if you let go of the 3d and then at the same time you're like okay replace that energy with a greater lesson or a greater download that's coming to me 
you'll be able to literally reconstruct matter and reality around you. So sending you all my love. I'll see you in the next video.